Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in this particular video, we'll be discussing another very important Python concept called loops. So there are two kinds of loops are available like a while loop and for loop. Okay, inside Python. So in this particular video, I'll be discussing about while loop. So first of all, let's try to understand uh, what is this particular loops in Python and why it is uh, so important. Okay, why we have to use the loops. Then I'll be discussing about this particular while loops. Okay, how we can write the while loops uh, inside Python. What is the syntax and all. We'll see some practical implementation of this particular while loop. Then I think this particular concept would be more clear. So let me tell you guys one thing. Uh, if you know looping inside programming, uh, you can uh, create very complex application. So it's like very much uh, important to have a knowledge on this particular looping. So that's why uh, please try to understand this particular concept uh, like in detail. Uh, so that uh, this particular concept will help you to write the efficient code going forward okay because going forward whatever projects whatever application will be building everywhere uh, you have to use this particular loop concept okay it's super important so i'll uh, show you one real time example of this particular loops like uh, how people are using this particular looping concept okay inside their application all i think then uh, this particular concept would be more clear so instead of talking too much guys let's start it with our agenda so first of all, let me tell you about the loops, like what is uh, this particular loops. If you want to repeat uh, one specific task continuously, this is called loop. So let's say, uh, if I tell you, just try to print your name, let's say 10 times. So what you will do inside Python, so you'll just take this particular print, okay? Print function and inside that, you'll just write your name. Let's say my name is Bappi, okay? My name is Bappi. Now I told you, just write this particular uh, name 10 times. That, that means here I am telling you, you have to print this particular name multiple times. Okay, so what you will do, you will just print this particular name multiple times. Okay, Bappi. And so on. Okay, that means 10 times. Okay, 10 times you have printed this particular name. But this particular approach actually I used. So this is called manual approach. This is called manual approach. Although actually I repeated this particular task, but again it's a manual approach. But we can automate this particular task with the help of loops. Okay, with the help of this particular, uh, uh, we can automate this particular task with the help of loops. Okay, there are two kinds of loops I already told you. One is like while loop and other is like for loop. Okay, for loop inside Python. We'll be discussing both of them one by one. So in this particular video, first of all, I'll try to discuss this particular while loop. I'll tell you with the help of while loop, you can, um, how we can automate this particular task, like how we can repeat this particular steps, okay, at 10 times. And you can see whenever I'm using looping concept, here you also need to give one condition. You also need to give one condition. Based on that condition, this particular loop will stop. Otherwise, what will happen? This particular loop will run infinite time. But I don't want that. So always we use one condition with our loop. Okay, so here the condition is 10 time. I told uh, I told you just try to print this particular name 10 times. So 10 time is a condition. So it will just print 10 time, then it will stop the execution. Okay. And it will repeat that particular work again and again. Okay, this is called actually looping inside programming. So instead of uh, manually uh, repeat this particular work, we can use this particular loop uh, actually concept inside programming and we can uh, automate this particular task. Okay, so let me give you one example. I think then uh, this particular concept will be more clear. So let me uh, open up my code editor and let me just show you this particular example first of all. So here I'm going to create a Python file and I'm going to name this particular file as uh, 14 uh, while loop okay while loop dot pi so this is my file name now inside this particular file uh, I already told you if I uh, tell you just try to print your name uh, 10 times what you will do you'll just print like that so print uh, let's say puppy uh, then you will just write 10 time okay 10 time you'll just write this particular print statement and uh, if I execute this particular program so let me take that terminal and now if I execute this particular file so python uh, 14 while loop dot pi now you'll see that it will print 10 times okay it will print 10 times this particular name but again what I have done I have just uh, used manual approach to write this particular code okay but with the help of uh while loop okay so here we'll be using something called while loop okay while loop so see while loop is a loop inside python and it runs actually uh infinite times okay unless and until you are not giving any any condition it will run infinite times okay so how to define this particular syntax so this is the syntax so while uh here you have to give the condition okay here you have to give the condition 
condition and inside that you can code block okay so this is the syntax to write the while loop now see by default if you're not giving any condition by default if you're not giving any condition this particular while loop will use the true condition okay true condition that means what will happen so let's say if i just write while true and inside that if i just write something let's say print my name okay buppy so what will happen it will just keep on printing buppy okay every time see it won't be stopping okay it won't be stopped it will print, uh, keep on pr printing my name infinite time okay see if i execute this particular program see it is printing my name it is printing my name and after some times you will see uh it will crash the memory okay it will crash the memory because infinite time it is running infinite time it is running okay it is printing 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 and all but i don't want that because i told you i want to uh, print my name 10 times okay i want to print my name 10 times so here i have to give a condition by default if you're not giving any condition it will consider as true that means infinite it will run this particular loop okay now i'll just stop the execution just press ctrl c from the keyboard it will stop the execution okay now here i can give a condition i'll just write i is equal to one and here i'll just write uh, while i is less than uh, 10 or not okay i is less than 10 or not okay i hope uh, you are getting this particular condition this is like relational condition i'm writing i is less than 10 or not so first of all you can see i would be one okay first of all here i have assigned as one so one is lesser than 10 or not yes it is lesser then it will come in uh, this particular condition is true then it will come inside that it will print my name okay then again what i have to do i have to update this particular i so here i can just increase with one because i already told you now you can use this particular assignment uh, assignment operator with any kinds of let's say operator uh, plus minus uh, multiplication anywhere you can use and that's how we can update any i value okay i think i already discussed this particular concept okay in our previous class so you can see i'm updating this particular i every time one i'm adding you can see i'm adding adding one that means uh, once this particular print uh, is executed it will update with one that, that means this particular i will become two and again two will come here 2 is less than 10 yes it is less than 10 again it will print that's how this particular loop will uh, keep on running until this particular condition is false whenever this particular variable that means uh, this particular i will become 10 so 10 is less than 10 or not no it's a false that time actually this particular loop will break okay so let me show you so if i execute this particular program so let me clear and if i execute this particular program you'll see that my name has been printed but how many time you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 why nine time because in programming always count start from zero but here actually you can see i have assigned one and here i have given uh like less than 10 only less than 10 only that means 10 10 would be excluded okay 10 would be excluded it won't be included that's why uh, it's printing nine time okay but if you want to print 10 time what you can do you can start from zero you can start from zero now you can see if you count from zero to uh, nine you will see 10 time it would be printed okay 0 to 9 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you can see 10 okay 10 that means 10 is matching right now now if i again execute this particular program now you can see my name has been printed 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay now it is working fine okay if uh, otherwise you can do one thing if you are starting from 1 and if you want to print in 10 times what you can do that time you can give 11 here that means one uh one digit uh extra okay one digit extra you have to provide then it will again print 10 times so let me execute and show you now you can count again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay you can see 10 times it has printed yeah so i'll start from zero i think that would be better because as i already told you program always start uh reading from zero okay that's why i'll be using this particular concept okay so there are so many way actually you can uh, handle this particular situation i told you a couple of them okay i think you can remember so this is called actually looping inside programming and that's how we can automate this particular task so that's how not only 10 times i can also print my name 100 times only using this three line of code okay instead of writing 100 times only using this particular three line of code i can also print my name 100 times let me show you see if i execute my program now see it will print 100 times it will print 100 times okay yeah so i'll only keep 10 time hmm. fine so this is called looping inside uh python okay and this is the loop actually we are using this is called while loop and this is the syntax of while loop now uh, let me show you one uh like real time example why this particular looping is used so if you go to google and if you search for amazon amazon.com i think you know amazon.com right so amazon is actually is an e-commerce actually website so here you can uh, shop any kinds of product let's see if i'm searching for phone okay if i'm searching for phone so phone if i'm searching for 
so you'll see different different phones would be there okay different different phones would be there so see whenever i search this particular phone okay phone keyword in this particular search button you'll see i'm getting some results and how many results actually i'm getting i'm getting uh 1000 results okay 1000 results actually i'm getting and it is showing uh only 16 form okay 16 form in this particular page okay but the 1000 results i got now see whoever designed this particular website so they have done one amazing actually uh, thing here i think you you can observe see how this particular page is aligned you can see uh left hand side this particular uh, phone image is coming and right hand side you can see this particular title is coming like what is this particular phone name and here you can see the star star given by the like uh, you can say user or let's say uh, the customer so this is the rating and you can see the price of the phone the delivery okay and uh, uh, there is a button add to cart if you want to buy so you can add to cart okay now you can see this particular format okay it is repetitive multiple time okay it is, re it is repetitive same as multiple times see same format left hand side image right hand side title price okay button and delivery everything you can see all the phone format is same okay all the phone form format is same there is there is only change the picture and the title and the price okay so these are the things only change and everything is same okay everything is same so what this particular programmer did instead of creating this particular a uh, template 1000 time what he has done he has created only one time okay this particular container he has created one time and that particular content container they're using in a loop okay and in a loop actually they're updating the product name and the uh, picture of the product let's say they are fetching the product name from the database they're fetching the image of the let's say phone from the database and they're updating in that particular loop and they're repeating 1000 time okay 1000 time this is the use of this particular full loop not only that there are uh, so many things uh, uh, you will get in the real-time application uh, people are using loop inside that okay because loops makes our task very easy okay so the task actually you want to perform multiple time with the help of rules now uh, with the help of loops you can automate this particular uh, things okay uh, and you can repeat that particular task so that's how actually loop concept can be applied in a real-time product as well now i think this part is clear if anyone asks you uh, why this uh, uh, loop can be applied now you can i think give this particular example okay now let's uh, get back to our code uh, editor now see i have written one program i think you remember this particular program this particular program will uh, print my name 10 times now if you want to visualize this particular program and if you want to see how this uh, particular value is getting updated and all how it is printing my, that means how my code is executing okay how this uh, loop is running if you want to visualize it so there is an amazing website i uh, i usually prefer let me show you this particular website uh, called uh, python okay python tutor so this is one amazing website uh, so here you can visualize your code okay let me show you how you can visualize see here you can visualize uh, your code python java c c plus plus javascript but i want to visualize python code i'll just click here and here is a, a box actually will see inside that you have to paste your code and you have to uh, click on this particular button called visualize execution now see your code will execute it now here you can see this is the first line of my code and my code uh, is starting reading from here okay line number one now you can see this particular arrow icon let me zoom this particular screen a little bit uh yeah now i think it's visible now you can see my code has start re reading from here now if i go to the next okay see initially i was zero see initially i was zero you can see i was zero now it will come to the while loop now it will check i is less than 10 or not zero is less than 10 or not definitely it is less than 10 that means this particular condition is true it will enter to the while loop okay it will enter to the while loop and it will print my name okay you can see it will print my name okay then it will update this particular value you can see it will update with one that means initially it was zero and it will update with one and it will become one again you can see i will become one again it will come here and it will check i is uh, one is less than 10 or not you can see one is uh, one is less than 10 again this condition is true again it will go to the print and it will print my name it will again update the value and this particular value will become two and two time my name has printed now again it will check two is less than 10 or not again it's a uh, true it will print my name again it will update the value that's how repetitive time you can see it is doing okay so if i do the next 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 you can see i value is changing every time okay and once this particular condition matches okay it will break that particular loop let me tell you so let me go to the nine okay uh, yeah nine and ten now you can see it is uh, it is just trying to match ten is less than ten or not this particular uh, condition is false so it will break this particular loop if i uh, click on next see it will break the loop that means your program has executed okay it it has executed and uh, 10 time my name has been printed okay so that's how with the help of this particular uh, website you can visualize your program and it will give you some uh, more clear cut idea how 
your uh, loop is working and all okay how your program is working and all okay so this is one amazing website i usually prefer so now let me uh, do another uh, actually example with the help of this while loop so what i can do i can comment this particular code see if i just select all the code and if i press control and forward slash c it will do the comment it will do the comment for all the line okay if you want to again uncomment what you can do you can select and press control and forward slash c it will uncomment again okay that's how you can comment your code okay i'll comment this particular code and here i'll do another example so here we'll be uh doing another example we'll just uh, but what is the program we'll be writing we'll just uh, write a program we'll just write a program to program to print uh multiplication table okay multi table okay multiplication table so user will give uh one uh actually number let's say user if user gives let's say 10 so it will print 10 multiplication table okay i think you know in your childhood you have learned okay 10 9 multi, uh, 9 10 uh, then 8 2 these are the multiplication table so we'll just write write this particular program so first of all what i have to do to write this particular program first of all i have to take one input from the user i already told you uh, so let's take the input so here i will just take an input i'll just store in the number variable okay number and here uh, i'll use this particular input function inside that i'll give a message enter the number and i will try to convert this particular uh, data to integer format because uh, by default it is going to be a string format now if i print this particular number you'll see that uh, this particular code will work fine so i can execute so let's say if number is 2 so it will print 2 here okay i think i can give this particular clone here i think that will be fine okay so here i will take a while loop okay and here i have to give a condition okay here i have to give a condition multiplication table like uh how, how many times actually it will print it will print 10 times i think you know okay 10 times it will print so again i'll take the same condition i think you remember we have taken the condition here so here i can write uh, one uh, i is equal to let's say uh, zero or i can start from one okay i can start from one and here i can write uh, while i is less than okay i is less than 11 okay i is less than 11 because i told you if you are starting from one you can increase uh one digit here okay because it will uh go uh, go go till 10 times okay now inside that i can just print the number uh, i can just print the number okay print uh this particular i and every time i have to update this particular i as well okay now see what will happen now if i execute this particular program see if i uh, give a number let's say i am giving a number four you can see it is printing one to ten okay it is printing one to ten because you can see um here i'm because if you see here i have given the condition um uh, if uh, i is less than 11 uh, then it will print the i okay every time and every time this particular i would be updated okay you can see i would be updated initially it was one so it has printed one then it will update as two then three and so on you can also copy and visualize in the python tutor okay you will uh, get to know okay how it's working now if i want to calculate the multiplication table simply what i have to do i have to multiply this particular uh, one two three four and so on with our number the number actually user has given so this is the number okay here i'll just try to do the multiplication okay now if i execute my program uh let's say i want to calculate the multiplication table of four now you can see that this is the multiplication table of four okay four 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 40 that means it, it's working fine okay it's working fine now you can give any other let's say number let's say i want to um, calculate 20 so this is the 20 multiplication table okay 20 multiplication table that's how you can give a number here now if you want to make it beautify so what you can do i can copy this one and i can comment this one so i can also make it as beautify so Mm. it will look like your actual multiplication table that time so first of all i will print the number the number user has given then i want to uh, print one um, actually star symbol so inside a string i can print this particular star symbol okay star symbol then comma then i want to print this particular i okay every time one two three four and so on i then after i i want to print one equal symbol okay inside a string i can give a equal symbol then after that i will print the results okay that means number 
multiply by i okay now see uh, this particular program will uh, look more beautiful than your previous one so if i execute this particular program uh, let's say i want to calculate multiplication table of 4 now i can see that 4 times 1 4 times 2 4 times 3 4 times 4 3, 6 7 9 and 10 okay that's actually you can also uh beautify your program okay everything is possible inside python so i hope guys uh, this particular concept is clear uh, like how we can use this particular while loop and uh what is the actually uh, syntax of this particular while loop so uh another thing i want to discuss about this particular while loop so first of all let me comment this particular program so i can do multi-line comment also hmm. so here i will do the multi-line comment okay so another concept i'll be discussing so here i'll just try to discuss while loop with else keyword okay see as of now we have learned uh if else okay else, if else i think we have learned and we saw like uh with the if condition i can use this particular else condition but if you're using while loop with the help of uh with while loop also you can use this particular else statement okay let me show you one example so i'll just write one simple code so here i'll take x is equal to one and i'll just give a condition while x is less than uh x is less than four okay so it will print this particular x and it will update this particular x uh, every time okay and here i'll just write else print program executed now see what will happen if i execute this particular program so let me clear uh, i'll take the terminal if i execute this particular program see uh, it will print first of all uh, till one to uh, uh actually it will print uh from one to three you can see first of all it is one one is less than four it will print one and it will update then two uh two is less than uh, uh four it will print two then three three is less than four it will print three and then it will become four four is less than four no it's it's false condition so it will come to the else condition right now okay and in the else what i have written program executed see program executed has been printed that's uh that means you can also use this particular else statement with the while loop okay not uh, not with the if condition you can also use with the while loop so sometimes actually we'll be using this particular else statement with the help of uh, with the while loop so in the next video actually we'll be building one game uh, uh which calls actually guessing game in inside that particular game actually i'll just use this particular concept i'll try to use this particular else statement with the while loop okay so uh, let's uh, do one project guys uh, in the next video that particular project will uh, give you the clear cut idea about this particular looping inside python so yes this was it from this particular video i hope you enjoyed this particular session thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time